sorry, didn't see you there. I've been doing some investigating lately because I want to know more about fingerprints. So today, that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to learn about what fingerprints are and how we can find them in our own home. So first we need to find out what are fingerprints. Well, if you look at the tips of your fingers, you'll see a unique set of pattern that is all your own. Your fingerprints are not like anyone else's in the world. Isn't that cool? Did you also know you have unique toe prints? Hmm. So usually there are three types of patterns of fingerprints. There's arches, loops, and whirls. Arches are ridges that start on one side of the fingerprint and exit on the other side. Loops are patterns that begin and end on the same side of the fingerprint. And whirls have at least one ridge but make a complete circle. So take a look at your fingerprints just with your eyes and see what kind of patterns you can find on your fingertips. Now it is kind of hard to see, so what we're gonna be doing now is taking fingerprints. So what we need to do our fingerprinting is an ink pad, preferably black, and this fingerprinting template, which is from the website, Our Family Code, and that's gonna help us in our fingerprinting process. Here are my fingerprints, and I think they turned out really cool. So I'm gonna take my magnifying glass and kind of get a little bit closer on some of them for you. So there is a fingerprint of my thumb, my thumbprint. Index finger. This is a really good one of the thumbprint. And you can see that on my thumb, I have a more of a, a whirl rather than an arch or a loop. So don't forget to look for those in your fingerprints. What's really cool is on my ring finger, I actually have a scar and that's something that can actually change your fingerprints. So when you're born, you're born with a certain unique set of fingerprints, but if you burn your finger or get a scar, that's what can change your fingerprints. So I actually have a scar. I don't know if you can see. I have a tiny backwards L shaped scar on this finger. And that's important to note because when you're looking at everyone in your family's fingerprints, you'll see that they're all different, but you can see if there's any unique differences like scars or any previous owies you might have had. And the reason I wanna bring up things that can make your fingerprints different is when we are searching for fingerprints, that's something you can look for to see if you could find whose fingerprint it is. So let's go find some fingerprints. All right, so what we're looking for when we're looking for fingerprints are something called latent fingerprints. And those are fingerprints that are left on different objects, such as this glass, that you can't see with the naked eye. So what we're gonna need to do is make some fingerprint dusting powder. So to do that, you're gonna need a little plastic baggie, some cornstarch, you can either use the lead from three regular pencils or I have some mechanical pencils that I'm gonna get the lead out of. A makeup brush or a paint brush that's fluffy and some tape. So the first thing we need to do is take some of the lead out of these pencils and go ahead and put them in the plastic bag. take your lead, you're gonna zip up your bag, and you're gonna take something that is going to crush the pencil lead. All right, and you'll kind of see it crushed right there like that. Then you're gonna open your bag back up 
and add a little bit of cornstarch. And you're gonna close your bag and kind of mix it all together. And there you have your fingerprint powder. Now the reason we use pencil lead is because fingerprint dusting powder is usually made with graphite and that's exactly what's in the pencil lead. All right, we're gonna try on this can. hard to see but I actually see a fingerprint on there so what we're gonna do I'm gonna put our cup down Stay. we're gonna take some clear tape and make sure that you're only touching the edges of the tape otherwise your fingerprints will get on there too so we're gonna take our tape I'm gonna go right over where we dusted oh yep I got one if you can see in the middle of the tape move this out of the way maybe we'll see there is a fingerprint right here all right guys, so now you know how to take fingerprints and how to find fingerprints in your house. So go ahead and have fun and solve some mysteries.